Hi friends, please subscribe to my channel for SQL and MSBI technology up to date videos. In this video, let's talk about how to load CSV file to SQL Server using SSIS. First, let me show you the CSV file structure. Yeah, let me go to the uh, source file. So this is my source file, which is under F drive SSIS source. So if you open this, I have a, a data like this. I have a data like this ID, name, location and gender. So I which are of having four columns and three rows of data. The process is same whenever you load the CSV file into a SQL server by using SSIS. Now, this is my source CSV file, which are of having four columns and three rows. Now, let me show you my destination table, which is in the uh, SQL server. So I have a sample database under that I have an employee table. So which are of having same structure with ID, name, location and gender. So it is an empty table as of now. Now let me start a package. So I just created an empty package with a name of CSV file load. Okay. So in this package, so I am going to take a data flow task. Under the data flow task, I am going to take the source and destination. So let me double click on the data flow task. Under that, I have a, I need to take a plot file source. See, the plot file source is going to work for CSV files as well. So then how to configure the plot file source to CSV file? Let's double click on it. So once you double click on it, so you will be getting this window. So here you need to click on new. So once you click on a new, you will get a pop up or a window kind of stuff where you need to specify the path of the file. So if you already remember that you can type this uh, folder path here. Otherwise, you have a facility to browse it. So let's browse that. So once you browse this, so if you already know the location, just uh, uh, paste here. Otherwise, you need to go to the specific location. So by default, it won't show you that CSV file because text files is selected here. So let's type the CSV file as well here. Yeah, now, so you will be able to see our CSV file. So that CSV. Let's double click on it. So once you double click on it, so you will be getting enabled. These are all the stuff. Now let's go to the columns. Yeah, these are all the columns and you can see some uh, data as well as a sample here. Okay, so let's click on okay. Before clicking on okay, let me change the plot file to CSV file connection manager. I can put whatever the name I want. It is up to the developer. Let's click on okay. So and click on okay. So this is how we configure a CSV file uh, in the SSIS. Now let me go to the toolbox again. Let me take a destination for OLEDB. So in this way, LEDB, I am going to take the SQL Server. So let's link the plot file source and the LEDB destination. So you might already know how to link it. Otherwise, I'll be showing here. Let's select this uh, gray arrow and take it till to the LEDB destination, hover on it and leave it. Okay, then now the source and destination both are connected. Let's double click on LEDB destination here. So if you already have a connection string is defined in your window, so you can simply select it but there is no connection string is defined in my case. Let's click on cancel here and click on new. So if you already selected, if you already configured some connections in the, uh, in this PC, you will be getting those otherwise. So nothing to worry. Let me cancel all. Let me create a new one. Click on new. So you need to click on new here. You will be getting server name. So my server name is uh, dot slash SQL 2012. So this information you need to have keep in ready and my database name is as I told sample click on test connection. So if the test connection is OK, then you will get a message test connection succeeded. Click on OK, click on OK and click on OK. And now so what is the table? So here you need to select your table. So our table name is employee. This is my table. So go to mappings and click on OK. So this is how you will map the uh, OLEDB destination with um, uh, SQL Server database and table. So once you are done with your design, so you know you need to run the SSIS package. How to run the SSIS package? So there are many ways. You can simply click on functional key F5 or you can click on the start debug button. Let's click on it. So once you click on it, so it starts executing. So once execution is completed, you will be seeing a green color button and next you will be seeing green color button for both the boxes if both are success. If one is failed, you'll be getting a 
red cross symbol on the top of the specific um, control now so let's go to the sql server side so let's run the query if you run the query so then you will be seeing that data which is there in the csv file so these three rows you can see but the same thing you can see the three rows are moved from plat file source to this oledb destination so how many rows are moved from source to destination that row number you can see in the ssis window itself means you can cross verify that count in the ssis window itself as a developer so this is how we load the data from um, a csv file to the uh, sql server so thank you for watching that's it